Welcome, dear friends, to the Ask Father feature of here at the Fatima Center on YouTube and other uh, venues. And uh, our question today is, I am a senior citizen. I used to go to daily mass. Now, because of COVID, I am confined to my home. I hear mass on the internet, and sadly, I have not received Holy Communion in a long time. Are online masses accepted by the Lord? Do they yield the same grace? So let's first tackle the question, does an online mass, could it be a means of grace? I would um, suggest that, it's, especially if it's a, it's a mass that's live, that's actually going on somewhere as you watch it, and you're associating yourself with it sincerely through faith, hope, and charity, that it can be a means of grace because it's the blood of the lamb which is being consecrated and offered. And if you associate yourself with that respectfully, uh, trustfully, uh, with through faith and, and uh, charity, then of course it could be a means of grace just as looking at the crucifix that's an image of the Lord Jesus crucified. It's not the actual Lord crucified. It's an image of him, but it lifts up our heart and mind to his passion and death. And by the way, when we do look at the crucifix, it's a beautiful thing to actually thank our Lord, like not to just ignore the crucifix, but to just glance at it even and say, thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank thee for dying on the cross for my sins, for example. So assisting at a Mass, especially if you know that that Mass is live, it's happening right then and there somewhere on the face of the earth, can be a source of grace. You are excused from your Sunday Mass obligation, and so God does accept your efforts to associate yourself and unite yourself with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. I'm very sad that you have not been able to receive Holy Communion one way or the other, and I pray that somehow or other the Lord will enable you to find a, a priest who is able to give you the bread of life. That being said, and I am not using this to, to just uh, you know, console you for the sake of consoling you, but, but because it is the truth, okay? Spiritual communion is something real, okay? Like, we, it basically consists of, I make an act of faith in the real presence, in the mystery of the Most Holy Eucharist, and I inv invite our Lord to come into my heart. And he does. And then I close my eyes, and I be with him as I would after Holy Communion. So definitely we can associate ourselves with uh, the Mass. Now, if, it's, if the Mass is a recording of a Mass... Um, you could do it that way as well, but I would suggest that maybe instead of looking at a recorded Mass, uh, maybe you might just pray using your missile. You know a Mass is going on somewhere on the face of the earth as you pray and associate yourself with that holy sacrifice. So certainly, and then again, if you're going to assist at Mass, like you're going to really mean business, then we shouldn't be, I'm sorry, you never said you would do this, but some people might be doing this. Don't be munching on popcorn and drinking a coffee. Like if we're going to assist at Mass through this means as best that we can, let's be respectful and let's be prayerful. So to that end, especially begging the Lord that you would have a priest be able to bring you Holy Communion as soon as possible and hear your confession as well. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>